we already fight this guy, which is a blatant cheater. I really have to hurry up here. I look at my session time. It's over one hour. And just like that, here we go. The first game started, and I have to be honest, this actually went better than I expected. You know, this was my first game of the day, so I really expected myself to be kind of rusty, but to be honest, in the first like one or two games, this really didn't show at all. I just went ahead and started destroying video game players. Just like the grey guy I completely obliterated here, I went ahead and started destroying everyone that came in my way. So about this challenge, people like Kaisiak, Specter Potato, and Infernally are Already tried this and they got, for example, I believe Kaizek and Specter Potato got like 14 wins in just a single hour. I'm pretty sure I can't do this. My bet gets destroyed and I just barely managed to win. Not a big deal. Second game, just the same thing. I'm able to proceed pretty well. This aqua guy actually almost gets my bed, so I have to go down and completely destroy them. And get their bed pretty chill. Then I go ahead and fight green. I actually go in on their bed. I managed to kill him here on the bridge, so I'm just able to destroy their bed and they disconnected, so I don't need to take the fight again. This is, by the way, my method of saving even more time by just fireball jumping and TNT jumping these distances on the diagonal axis between the two bases. That is always, for example here again, TNT jumping, that is always how I manage to proceed even faster. And just like that, I have already taken out pink, ready to also get their bed and destroy them, finally achieving the next win. And here we are in the next game. I don't know, what exactly do you think of this style that I just look at my own gameplay and um, commentate it basically, adding something to it, just giving you a little more information? This is pretty unfortunate. There, my first couple mistakes start. As you saw there, I tapped in chat while fighting. It didn't really affect me, but it was actually pretty unfortunate and it basically is an indicator on how this is going to go on in the future since I just get less and less concentrated over time. It's actually pretty annoying. It's uh, annoying myself looking at this. I hope this gameplay is still really inspiring to you. Speaking of inspiring, uh, by the way, GG's on how we killed that blue guy, but speaking of inspiring, I actually got inspired to do this by Kaizek. He did the same thing. But here we are in the next game. Uh, we have already achieved three incredible wins. And uh, motivated by that, I go in trying to take out this gray guy. They are kind of flaggy, I know that's a thing that happens on Hypixel, yeah. <laughs> but I still manage to take him out, and just like that, they are gone. But let me tell you one thing, this is the first fail in a long series of fails that is going to haunt me over the course of this gameplay. I know, it doesn't look like this yet, but from here on it just goes downhill. I luckily managed to take out this red guy, and just like that I go on fireball jumping, missing the ladder clutch. Ouchie, that is not a nice thing. But uh, yeah, my bed gets destroyed, I drink these potions, and these potions actually screw me over later on. Now I can use them to take out green just like that, you can uh, see. The nice little speed combo I get here, I'm really bad at potions, <laughs> but it still works. And just like that, I had to slow bridge the entire time because I couldn't 
bridge normally because of the parts and this screws me over. I fall in the void and boom, game lost. Ah, really unfortunate. But here we already are in the next game and I am like, well, this didn't go too well, but uh, okay, this also didn't go too well, but maybe I can perform a little bit cleaner place here, but no, even the block end just doesn't seem to work out. The night before I watched a couple of side gaming videos, as I usually do, and um, I saw a really cool play how he just blocked into a bad defense like this. I sadly wasn't able to do so, and boom, my bet is gone again. And sadly, I play a little too risky here. I'm like, yeah, I don't need to play safe, I can just go in on white, but um, no, <laughs> I can't. Just like that, I already wasted two entire games. Uh, this is really unfortunate, I have to admit. I waste a little bit of time here, so White actually goes in on me, but I manage to take him out. My aim is really shaky, just as always, uh, but I manage to combo him a little. Take their bed, and just like that, they disconnected, so I don't need to fight him again. I'm getting pink bed, and boom, ping file is for me. I'm trying to not hit him too far here, which is why I slowed down there, and it worked out. No need to worry. Looking back at this, I already realized this when editing the gameplay. I kind of probably opened my bet defense there using the fireball to jump, but it didn't really matter this game. Yellow just died on their own. No, actually, they got killed by blue, but I completely destroy blue here. They got a lot of emeralds, but they didn't use them wisely. They just got some armor, and I'm able to take him out here. I'm not really able to get the combo since they're kind of laggy, so I just place down some blocks, and just like that, the crits give me the win. Now, here we are in the next game. We already got four wins, as you can see down there in the bottom right corner. I take Grey Bat, and luckily, they already disconnected. This blue guy actually seems really sweaty, so I'm really glad I managed to take him out without any problems here. I just take their bed, take him out, and that is it. Now I obviously TNT jump again to save time, and just like that I can take yellow bed here, even though it took a couple attempts, and I can go up to them, hitting them off. I actually thought I hit him off, but it didn't actually happen, I had to hit him off again, they clutched. I ladder clutched, and now I'm like, oh yes, this game is so fast, I can end it, but no. Ah, they jumped down, I didn't see that coming, unfortunate. So I have to fight him here on the bridge again, and I managed to really closely actually take him out. Just like that, we are in the next game. I kind of mess up my bad defense here, but it doesn't really matter too much, to be fair. I actually managed to go up against this aqua guy pretty well. I can just combo them, take their bed, and combo them once again in this next PvP encounter just like that. Yes, wonderful. This grey guy I actually have to kill since I got mining fatigue, so I wanted to kill him first, now I can get their bed, and boom. Just like that, I have to escape, my bed is gone. I go in here on this green guy, that is not really the problem, nothing happens here. But now I obviously head towards mid to get some emeralds. I got a pearl, I use it to poke clutch, someone is chasing me, this blue guy, I can combo them now. But there's one little tiny problem, I get lagged back and die. <sighs> I'm I'm happy. Don't don't worry. I'm I'm fine. Nothing, nothing is bad here. I'm, I'm yeah. That really really destroyed me. I have to be honest. <laughs> this lag back. Oh god. But at least this takeout was pretty nice. They didn't really react to me in time. I I didn't really understand. But just like that, we already fight this guy, which is a blatant cheater, as you can already see. And if you didn't see it yet, you can see it in this PvP can I mean, look at this. Switch into blocks, but still hitting me. They don't have to sprint reset, they can just sprint in on me. And I'm like, okay, I can't win this anymore, I'm leaving, and then I'm like, wait, their bat got destroyed? I'm rejoining, let's go, maybe I can take him. And let me tell you one thing, I can take him. I am destroying the cheater. Boom, gone, cheater down. Oh yes, that felt pretty, pretty good. 
Here I take out green and I realize, wait, they're right next to my base, I should probably avoid. So I avoid it and I start fighting them and I'm like, wait, do they have anti-KB? Come on, two cheaters in one game, but no, I just didn't sprint reset properly. I can go in here again, taking them out. Everything is cool. I can take their bet here and just like that, I'm pretty confident on killing them again. So I just go in and let me tell you one thing. Well, it works out. That is game and six wins so far. Yeah, now that you watched me place my defense, you get introduced to this wonderful fella called Moose Grub. They are actually from Finland. How do I actually know that? Well, <laughs> um, we have a long, long fight here. They're just basically stalling me and it takes a long time and I'm already annoyed and I'm like, oh, come on, I just want to win video games quickly. But in the end, uh, believe it or not, I actually managed to win. We just keep fighting, it goes back and forth, we keep killing each other, but in the end I manage to get their bet. Just wait for it, I just have to fight them a couple more times. At this point here, I realize they're trying to pass me and I'm like, ah, what am I gonna do? There's nothing I can still do, there's not enough time to void or anything. So I'm on one and a half hearts, I don't have a bet anymore, I just basically get their bet. I see they void it, so I go back to my own base. And here is the final fight. Back on full health, pre-gap health, and just like that, I combo them. A really, really good player, I have to admit. Like, an insanely good player. As you can see in chat there, I friend them to give them a nice and deserved good fight. And they actually turn out to be a really nice fellow. They also said, good fight indeed. They agree to me saying good fight there. And uh, even though that was a pretty wholesome interaction, this guy, unfortunately, ruins my day and it was all worth nothing oh my god but moose grub i believe you are going to see this ggs again and uh yeah uh, they actually turned out to be a really nice fella all right how about i try to kill pink here but completely fail yeah that is really unfortunate I actually, Pink actually stalled me again and then just jumped into the void and I'm like, huh? how do you know I'm making, how do you know I'm working on this challenge? Like, huh? it actually felt like they knew since they were just stalling me and then jumping in the void. It was really unfortunate. Here, I just barely managed to save my bed from yellow. by using this wonderful knockback stick, just like that. They place blocks, I anticipate that, I place ladders, boom, gone. Nothing to worry about here. And to end this off with, I just go in on red and KB stick, goodbye red. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> that is the next win, the win number seven, by the way. We only have 15 minutes left, a little less even. So I'm like, ha, how many wins can I maybe still win? I hope I can still win like maybe three wins or maybe I can win four games. It would actually be pretty nice. So I'm trying to concentrate a little more again. Well, let me tell you this one thing. It didn't really work out. This is going pretty well so far, but just uh, look at what's happening now. I completely get screwed over. Wow. Yeah, wonderful. You can see how annoyed I am by that. Because I'm like, no, please, I just want to win video games. This really annoyed me. By this point, I have already played 50 minutes. And let me tell you this one thing. The morals, they weren't that high up anymore. <laughs> they really weren't high anymore. But luckily, I managed to take out blue here. And only pink is left. Boom, blue, you are gone. Good fight. And pink turns out to be a little goofball. So I can just go in, take their bet pre gap once more and take him out. And just like that, boom, win number eight. Pretty, pretty sweet if you ask me. Now you might be wondering why is lobby time included? Basically I joined the game and it instantly starts and I'm like, wait, so many good names. But here I realize uh, I already got the text, how Bad Wars works, so the game already started. I tested by typing slash rejoin and yes, this would have counted as a loss in my statistics, so I had to play this game. And, um, well, as you can imagine, I already saw these good names. Uh, a couple good players were in this game, yeah. 
So unfortunately, I um, didn't manage to win this since this white guy is fireball jumping up to my bed. I'm like, uh, wh why? Why do you have to do this? And um, yeah, I'm trying my best to win this. I know I have to win this, but uh, I mean, look at this. I don't manage to. They just, uh, yeah, they had a kind of low ping. GG's to you, but unfortunate. Now I only have eight minutes left and I know I have to win these last two games, otherwise I'm pretty screwed over. I'm not entirely sure how many games I already won here, so I think I maybe won like six games and I have this number 14 in mind from like Kaizek and all these cool people and I'm like, no, I can't end up with like six wins, I have to get more and just like that, boom, another win. In my book, that was like win number 7 or something, so I was like, ah, I really wanted to get to 10, but can I at least get 8 wins? And, uh, well, I actually do manage to maybe win this last game. It is not really too easy, and we all don't really know what happens here. Well, I do know, since I already edited it. But this is actually pretty intense. Remember, I only have two and a half minutes left, and in my head, I already got 7 wins, so I really want to get number 8. But in reality, it's even better than that. I am at 9 wins, and I have 30 seconds left basically, okay, like 43 or something. And uh, I really want to get to 2 digits, like for real. So I'm looking at myself in uh, retrospective here, and I'm like, come on, you can do this! You can have 2 digits! If I don't win this within the one hour mark, it really doesn't matter too much. I mean, I'm still going to count it. Uh, but if I lose this here, obviously it doesn't count. <laughs> so that wouldn't be good. I really have to hurry up here. I look at my session time, it's over one hour. We are like 30 seconds over, so I just uh, take these last two people out. And yes, I already spoiled you. Just like that, we win it. 10 wins. I mean, it's not 14, but it's 10. Two digits. I'm actually pretty proud, so I'm going to give it to myself here. You can look at my live reaction now. Okay, live uh, reaction. I have to admit, I didn't play well. The first couple of games went really well because I was still insanely concentrated. But especially as we got into like the middle games and the last games, I just lost focus. I just couldn't concentrate anymore. I lost a bunch of games that really shouldn't have happened. If I were to guess how many games I got, I believe I got like 8 wins, maybe 9. <sighs> For my first attempt, this is like literally, these were my first games I even played today. Uh, this is my absolute first attempt at this challenge. I think I performed okay. It wasn't the worst. Alright, uh, yeah, live reaction. And I give it back to Mono Legends OP behind the scenes. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, consider subscribing. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night, and goodbye.